do you have a steady stream of customers? If not, I don't want you to whine about it. What I want you to do is to do something about it. The reality is I want you to, instead of just thinking about customer acquisition, I want you to dance with the one who bought you. Now I know that's a play on words. The old phrase, dance with the one who brought you. Well, the one who brought you to where you are is the one who bought from you. So I want you to dance with the one who bought you. And what I mean by that is, instead of just looking to go get more customers, the first place you should look to get more customers is the people you've already done business with. That's the first place always. Then I want to look at the people who have done business but are no longer doing business with me, what I call the inactive customers. You should do those things before you ever look for new customer acquisition models or different revenue streams of customers that you've never known before. Why? It's always proven out to be fact that people have done business with you like you trust you and will do business with you again most likely if asked. If you haven't asked them in 18 months, it's as if they've never done business with you almost. They can't remember you. You have to reopen that relationship. Well, the way that you keep that from happening is to make sure that you have communication channels. Do you have a scripted, set out way that you're communicating in a personalized manner with your customers? Can you do that through email? You can even do personalized set up communications through autoresponders of emails, through a newsletter in a paper printed form, a newsletter in an email form. You could do personalized uh, uh, postcards, like through a service that we use called sendout.com or through an email service we use uh, for our newsletters called aweber.com. But I would invite you to think of 20, 30 different ways that you can communicate with your customers in a way that you sequence it, that you're doing 80, 90% of rewarding them, of giving them value, of personalizing yourself, letting them know who you are, who you work with, who your family is, who your dogs are, they need to feel a connection with you. If you want to talk about branding, this is where branding comes in. You don't brand a company so much unless you're a huge, dynamic, big, multinational company. What you do is you brand who's in the company. And through that, people will have you at the top of the mind awareness. And the only way you get market share is to get market share of mind. Set up your own communication channels and make sure that you're communicating more than you ever have before. Whether it's the phone, or as we mentioned, email, or postcards, or lumpy dimensional mail, or all the different things that you could set up. And what I would invite you to do in this book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It, you're gonna find information. You'll get the first chapter for free, and you'll get a bunch of free bonuses at superstarbookvideo.com. And you can find in this chapter, which is chapter eight, dance with the one who bought you, how to make sure that you're not losing your customers. If you don't lose your customers and you add more, you'll grow exponentially. But if you're continually having to reload because you're not communicating in a personalized way, then you're losing more than your fair share. And as you lose and replenish, you're not gaining. You're just very slowly, incrementally growing at best. We are looking for exponential growth. Once again, go to uh, superstarbookvideo.com. Check out How to Be a Sales Superstar. Break all the rules and succeed while doing it. I'm the author, Mark Tewart. Make sure you get your free chapter and your free bonuses. And here's to you getting and keeping more of your customers.